Before I begin, I'd like to let everyone know that I'll be attending PAX East this year. If you'd like to say hi, I'll be working a lot with the people down at Games On Demand, so feel free to stop over and say hello. Great dramatic scenes are often a goal for many games, but what does that really entail? Originally, drama was a very broad term, but modern use tends to be more specific. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using drama to refer to a scene of emotional intensity, and typically one on a serious note. Combat can be dramatic, but it's not what I'm referring to here. Dramatic scenes tend not to happen in a game very easily. They require engagement by the players, they have to be involved and committed to that scene, and they have to stay in character. Due to that committed nature, dramatic scenes tend to be very heavy in bleed. They either involve you bringing your own emotions into your character by bleeding in, or having that character feel something very strong that you as a player will as well, and bleeding out. Even still, it can be hard to give a solid definition to a dramatic scene. Action on its own, for example, is not necessarily the dr drama I'm talking about. Simply fighting a group of orcs might cause adrenaline to surge, but that's not the experience I'm talking about. Not the deep emotional context that I'm referring to. Likewise, a love scene on its own, or experiencing love in character, is not necessarily what I'm talking about either, because while that can also be emotional, it doesn't have the conflict that I'm referring to. However, someone that you love who wants you to betray your friends can be very dramatic. So how does one cause a dramatic scene to come up in play? Well, the strong emotion is at its core, either the player's emotions or the character's emotions. The way I believe this tends to come up is either a disagreement between two opposed ideals which are core to those characters, or a decision of a single character that puts him at odds with himself or herself. Now that might seem rather obvious, but how can we see an example of it in play? Well, let's talk about a game called Durance. And in Durance, you create two characters at the start of play. Each character has an oath, and is no longer played once they break that oath. And the game does not end until half the characters are either dead or out of play. Since Durance is a GMless game, players take turns setting scenes for their characters, which will cause their oaths to put them in difficult situations, either by placing two characters' oaths directly opposing each other, or making a player make a difficult decision based on that oath, or simply choosing between their characters breaking that oath or dying. Many role-playing gamers consider dramatic moments to be the high point of play, but left their own, they don't tend to come up very often. If this is a direction you want your player to take, then it requires a commitment from every player at the table. But think of the stories that you can tell together. Relevant links are below, and as always, I hope that your next game is even better than your last.